The floor leader of Korea's ruling party has laid out his party's policy priorities on Monday to the National Assembly. Top of the to-do list are labor reform, corporate restructuring and establishing an even stronger alliance with the United States to guard against threats from North Korea. Ji Myung Gil with the details. Ruling Saenuri Party floor leader Chung Jin Seok took the floor Monday in his first parliamentary address since taking office earlier this month. He began by advocating for a passage of a package of four labor reform bills he said would prop up Korea's stagnant economy. The four labor reform bills will help reduce wage imbalances and improve working conditions to thwart low productivity. We urge the opposition to cooperate for quick passage of the bills. He said if passed, the bills will help provide young people and the elderly with job opportunities. The opposition parties and labor unions, however, believe the bills undermine job security and give employers too much leeway to hire irregular workers. Tong also called for corporate restructuring of ailing companies to improve their financial soundness and minimize the fallout if they fail. He said without drastic restructuring to cut costs, the Korean economy could be in danger. Apart from the economy-related issues, Chang says South Korea should strengthen the alliance with the U.S. to counter North Korea's nuclear ambitions. The answer is strengthening and building a trust relationship through the South Korea-U.S. alliance. The U.S. should be ready to provide us with their nuclear umbrella at any time. He also said his party supports Seoul's efforts to fully implement the U.N. sanctions on Pyongyang and keep up with international moves to impose additional sanctions on the North. Concerning the recent threats made by the Islamic State militant group against South Korea, Chung said the new counterterrorism center under the prime minister's office will act as a control tower against terrorist threats. He said the center will conduct around-the-clock surveillance on potential threats and set up contingency plans. Tong's address is part of a series of briefings scheduled for this week. The leaders of the two main opposition parties will outline their priorities in separate addresses on Tuesday and Wednesday. Chim Young-gil, Arirang News.